from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Stephen Nerens. A little soggy again for parts of green country, parts of eastern, southeastern Oklahoma early this morning. Uh, we, you know, we're trying to afford as many additional rounds of heavy rain as we can because we really don't need any more. Uh, a lot of amounts fairly light. There has been one little swath these last two or three hours here for about Weber's Falls over to Fort Smith. Weber's Falls over an inch and a half rain. Fort Smith, three and a half inches of rain. A lot of that fell in one hour in Fort Smith. And there are some spots here with, uh, outside of the sensors that picked up probably a quick two to four inches of rain this morning. And another heavier swath moved through central Oklahoma late last night, early this morning from about Hinton, which is west of Oklahoma City, through Norman, through Ada, down towards Atoka. Again, you know, there, here's Pittsburgh County, here's McAllister, southern Pittsburgh County. It's just clipped our area. In addition to the heavy rain, this swath of storms produced some destructive winds. I mean, we had 80 mile an hour wind gusts out of those storms that moved from south of Norman down towards Ada and Atoka. Uh, and unfortunately, storm chances are far from done uh, through the end of the week. We've got a little bit of a break right now, but there'll be more to come. So here's a look at ra uh, radar right now. Still lingering showers south and east. A couple showers to our west that have pretty much fallen apart. We're still keeping a slight chance for another shower to this afternoon. Just can't totally rule out an isolated uh, downpour popping back up in one or two spots late in the afternoon into early evening. And then tomorrow we do it all over again. Yet again, another round of morning storms develops. We're going to have a couple different spots we're watching. It looks like we'll have storms moving out of Kansas, dropping to the south and east that would likely be severe. And we may also have some additional development kind of near the Oklahoma City metro that slides into southeastern Oklahoma. You saw I had moderate to likely chances for pretty much everyone tomorrow morning. Some of us will miss out, but more than likely, we're going to have another uh, pretty bumpy morning from a thunderstorm standpoint tomorrow morning. Here's the look from downtown Tulsa right now. Clouds hanging in. We're going to get more of those sun breaks through the afternoon. Again, that's been the drill here recently. 76 degrees, dew point of 71. So it is muggy. Winds are not very strong, so there's not going to be much of a cooling breeze once that sun breaks back out this afternoon. You can tell where it's cloudy and where it's sunny. Stillwater, 80. Miami, 80. 76 in Tulsa, but 68 in McAllister, where the clouds are still quite a bit thicker. That sunshine will clear back in from west to east this afternoon. See that here on Future View. I think by the end of the day, all of our temperatures kind of level out, mid 80s to the north, low 80s to the south. Uh, late today into this evening, again, not a whole lot, but there could be an isolated shower or two. Early tomorrow morning, we hit uh, anywhere from 2, 3, 4 in the morning. Once again, it looks like thunderstorms redeveloping. Likely some of these are going to be severe with a damaging wind and hail threat and a potential flash flooding threat as well for the very early morning hours as these come diving south and east out of Kansas. There may be kind of one or two waves of that uh, through the morning to mid morning hours and similar to what we've done the past several days by midday into the afternoon. A lot of that clears out just kind of some lingering activity in the afternoon. Highs Wednesday, kind of similar to today around 80 to the low 80s as that cloud cover clears back on out. Severe weather potential once again is hanging in for most of us overnight into Wednesday morning. We could apply that to the next few days as well. And as we roll through the rest of the week, as we still have more of those additional storm chances to come, the tornado threat remains very, very low. It's hard to ever say it's zero this time of year, but that's pretty, pretty uh, low on the scale there. Damaging wind and hail. We had some of that in central Oklahoma this morning. We'll have to watch for that with storms tomorrow morning. But the more storms we get this week, the more the flooding threat comes up because obviously things are quite saturated. We really can't handle a whole lot more rain uh, across most of eastern Oklahoma at this point. So that's going to be one of our bigger concerns with storms tomorrow morning and then again Friday morning. Seven day forecast temperature wise, uh, the, the clouds and the rain will hold us in check. will keep us from getting too hot for a few days but once again like I said it will be muggy mid 80s today low 80s tomorrow Thursday we do have a chance for showers and storms that one looks like it's gonna be slightly lower coverage but then Friday morning we do it all over again highs in the upper 80s we do still ap appear to be clearing things out finally calming down in time for the weekend mid 80s Saturday but as we start to bring the storm chances down the heat starts to crank up late weekend into early next week